Will the MJJC foam cannon provide a thick foam? Is it worth buying? Watch till the end. What is up guys, so we're here. So in this video, we'll be reviewing this MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. So MJJC sent this for me to review. And before we get into it, let's check the contents of the box. All right. So inside the box, you'll have your instructions. So make sure to read that first before using your foam cannon. And then the pickup tube with the metal ball at the end of it. And a 1.1 millimeter orifice and three extra filters. So two stainless steel mesh and then one foam. Of course, your connector. So make sure you pick the correct connector for your pressure washer gun. And then the actual container and the nozzle or the head. So the uh, container has a 1.2 liter capacity but only has a marker up to 1 liter and then of course the actual head. So that's the contents of the box. So assembling it is pretty much straightforward. So the first thing that you'll have to do is attach the pickup tube to the nozzle body. So what's good about this pickup tube is that it has a metal ball at the end. So whenever you tilt your foam cannon, especially forward and backward, it will still pick up car shampoo from the container. Once that's all good, it's time to fasten the connector. So make sure you have selected or chose the correct connector for your pressure washer gun. Now what I like about this connector is that it is a pressure fitting. So no need for PTFE or Teflon tape. And that's it, we're basically good to go. So the shampoo that I'll be using for this review is the Scarcity Green Forest S101A Super Foam Shampoo. I've already diluted it, 1 is to 20, so 20 milliliters of the shampoo to 400 milliliters of water. So another big advantage of this MJJC Foam Cannon Pro container is that it has a big mouth. So you don't need any funnel to pour your car shampoo into the container so you could easily pour it without making any spills just like that unlike with the other containers that has a very small opening that re will require you to use a funnel so that you won't make any mess all right so we're all good to go I also want to mention the pressure washer unit that I'm using. So I'm using a Nilfisk C105-5. It has a pressure of 1,400 PSI or 100 bar. And then the flow rate is 440 liters per hour. And then I'm using this uh, short pressure washer gun with a 1 fourth quick connect. Alright, so before I begin foaming the car, I'll just walk you through some of the controls or features of this foam cannon pro. So, on top, it's the adjustment for the soap. If you turn it all the way to the left, just like that, it will take more soap. If you turn it all the way to the left, it will take less soap and more water. Aside from that, this black part, if you rotate it, will adjust the spray pattern. So, if you rotate it all the way to the right, it will shoot a stream of car shampoo and if you rotate it all the way to the left just like that if you narrow the blades it will shoot a fan pattern and then another cool feature of this foam cannon pro is this red part over here so you could basically change the orientation of your spray nozzle so now you could like shoot a horizontal fan if you rotate it to the left you could shoot a vertical fan all right Okay, so for the soap, I turn it all the way to the right, so to maximize the use of the soap. So let's begin spraying or using the foam cannon probe on this on the seat. very thick suds so just to remind you the orifice installed on this foam cannon pro is 1.25 millimeter and it produces a very thick sud so the foam cannon pro really produces a very thick suds 
So another cool feature of this Foam Cannon Pro is that if you tilt it, nothing leaks. See? Nothing leaks. So that's a very neat one. So aside from no leaks, I'll show you the metal ball at the end of the pickup tube in action. So if I tilt the bottle or the foam cannon like that sideways, it's still picking up so from the container. Except if you totally rotate it vertically. So this time I'll try a weaker solution. So the dilution ratio for this one is 1 is to 50 as the bottle recommends. So let's test it out. Will it produce a thick foam? Alright. So with a 1 is to 50 uh, dilution ratio for the car shampoo, it still produces a very thick suds. I also want to show that on the connector nothing's leaking and yeah the very 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 thick suds so I'm done cleaning the car now let's talk about cons of this MJJC Foam Cannon Pro to be honest after one hour and after cleaning the car I cannot think of any more cons let's see over time how will the MJGC Foam Cannon Pro hold up, right? Alright. So that's it for our initial review of this MJGC Foam Cannon Pro. So it is really worth buying. So for the price of the MJGC Foam Cannon Pro, it ranges somewhere around 2,700 to 3,000 pesos. And if you're an international viewer, it's at 59 USD or US dollars. So if you want to order one for yourself, just check the link in the description, use that link and order your MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. So guys, if you find this video really helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to be updated for any future uploads. So guys, thanks for watching and see you on the next vid. Alright!